and as temperatures plummet, what was just flooded becomes locked in ice, crippling communities. Winter isn't giving up either. Uh, the strong storm is currently tracking toward the Midwest with the potential to bring 45 mile an hour winds and another foot of snow. Warnings are up in at least three states. Forecasters predict the storm will clobber the northeast. I can't handle the pressure. The Sometimes pressure makes it all different. Serious. You ever have like that social pressure? Talk to somebody who's You're fake. just being honest. They make you fake. Your situation, your climate, and you're explaining it. You don't want to go back. Why don't you want to go back? What's in Long Island? There's nothing there. I have everything with me. I have everything I need. If I just don't go back and don't pay my bills and don't pay my car payments and have my car, I think it's fine with my car. Why do you really have it if you just stop? I don't live there. If I just let leave and... <laughs> and yet we live passionately and that is worth it. It's worth the love. To say, fuck that, I'm going to take ownership of my life. I'm going to reject that which I'm expected of and do what I want to do, that which I know is best for me. It's hard. It's not easy. It's a lot, it takes a lot to let go of all the comforts. The sense of self, the sense of life. Trust each other. One, two, fuck you! All the different people that you know that can come together within a day without even knowing each other from any race, any background, and just click automatically. It's pretty special because of that common interest. Our common interest is stronger than any other group out there. You see, all of us have other lives, you know? Other things to do, other things we need to other places we need to be. We've got a uh, you know, sister who really needs some help, or we've got a wife who really wants us to be around father who really needs us to be in the business. And yet we find ourselves completely captivated and completely controlled by this wonderful pursuit that we all share. This is this world of climate. And it's more enticing than any other lot of us ever could be. We realize that all which is most special when we be here. That's why we're here. And that's why we're willing to miss our flights home and we're willing <laughs> to call up our bosses in the middle of the night and tell them, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make that Tuesday <laughs> deadline. And that's why we exist as this little tribe of climbing communities. And it's pretty special, it's pretty unique. And that passion is something to be revered, to be held, to be cherished, and to be embraced. And I'm very, very excited that I can say I'm one of those people. Awesome, well said, man, that was sweet. I think that goes for all of us. There's enough people out there. Anybody to do all the sitting work. at this campsite right now could do the same thing.